On August 26, 2025, the world watched as Starship stood ready in Texas, a symbol of human ambition, engineering prowess, and the relentless pursuit of the stars. The air was thick with anticipation, as people from every corner of the globe tuned in, united by a shared sense of wonder and hope. This wasn't just another launch, it was a defining moment for SpaceX and the future of space exploration. The eyes of the world were fixed on Starbase, knowing that history could be made in a matter of minutes. The stakes were immense, NASA's Artemis program, global scientists, and the public all pinned their hopes on this flight. For many, this mission represented the next step in humanity's journey beyond Earth, a leap toward a multiplanetary future. Flight 10 aimed to achieve a series of unprecedented objectives, controlled booster landing, payload deployment, in-space engine relight, and a splashdown on the far side of the planet. Each goal was ambitious on its own, but together, they formed a checklist that had never been attempted in a single mission. Controlled booster landing, payload deployment, in-space engine relight, all critical steps for future deep space missions, and the foundation for reusable, reliable space travel, and a splashdown on the far side of the planet. This would test Starship's ability to survive re-entry and recovery in the most challenging conditions yet. Each task was a monumental challenge, achieving them all in one flight seemed almost impossible. The margin for error was razor thin, and every second of the mission would push the limits of technology and human ingenuity. This was a full dress rehearsal for missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond, a test of control, precision, and reliability on a new scale. The lessons learned here would shape the future of interplanetary travel and determine how soon humanity could set foot on other worlds. Starship's journey to this pad was paved with failures and hard-won lessons, each setback fueling improvements. Every explosion, every anomaly, was a stepping stone toward progress, not a reason to give up. SpaceX's rapid, iterative approach meant learning from every explosion and anomaly. The team's resilience and willingness to adapt set them apart turning obstacles into opportunities for innovation. Flight 10 was the culmination of that relentless drive, a chance to prove Starship could finally deliver on its promise, and to show the world that the future of spaceflight was closer than ever before. As the countdown ticked to zero, the world held its breath, ready to witness either another setback or the dawn of a new era. The tension was electric, every heartbeat echoing the hope for success. This was more than a rocket launch. It was the embodiment of a relentless dream, a testament to what humanity can achieve when we dare to reach for the impossible. To truly appreciate Flight 10's triumph, you first have to understand the string of failures that paved the way. Every great achievement is built on lessons learned from adversity, and SpaceX's journey was no exception. The Block 2 Starship endured a relentless series of setbacks, catastrophic explosions, sudden losses of telemetry and ground test disasters that threatened to halt progress entirely. Each failure forced SpaceX's engineers to dig deeper than ever before, meticulously analyzing every millisecond of flight data, searching for the smallest clues, and redesigning critical systems from the ground up. Ship 37, the vehicle chosen for Flight 10, was forged in the crucible of these hard-won lessons, emerging with a strengthened methane tank, a reworked engine bay, and countless unseen improvements. This wasn't just another launch, it was a living test of SpaceX's core philosophy. Build, fly, break, fix, and repeat. Every attempt, successful or not, was a step forward. The world watched with bated breath. Not just for a rocket launch, but for the climax of an engineering comeback story that had captured imaginations everywhere. If Flight 10 succeeded, it would validate SpaceX's entire approach, proving that resilience, relentless iteration, and a willingness to learn from failure could conquer even the harshest setbacks. The pressure on the team was immense, but so was their determination to push the boundaries of what's possible. This was a redemption arc unfolding in real time, a chance to turn past defeats into a defining victory. The outcome would either reinforce SpaceX's bold, risk-taking strategy or send them back to the drawing board once again, searching for answers. The stage was set for a breakthrough moment, one that would echo far beyond the launch pad, inspiring future generations of engineers and dreamers alike. At exactly 6.30 p.m. Central Time, the quiet along the Texas coast was shattered as all 33 Raptor engines on Super Heavy Booster 16 roared to life. 
The ground trembled, and the night sky was illuminated by a torrent of fire and thunder, signaling the beginning of a new chapter in spaceflight. The rocket was held down for a tense moment, engines straining against the clamps, before it finally broke free and surged skyward, a breathtaking controlled display of raw power and engineering mastery. Starship climbed through Max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress with remarkable stability. The vehicle's structure flexed but held strong, a testament to years of design and testing. Onboard cameras captured the breathtaking curve of Earth as the rocket accelerated higher. Even as one engine shut down, the mission pressed on, undeterred, the rest of the engines firing in perfect harmony. Three minutes into flight, the critical hot staging maneuver began. Ship 37's engines ignited while still attached, pushing the upper stage away in a fiery, flawless separation that unfolded exactly as planned. As the booster began its controlled return to Earth, Ship 37 continued its ascent, engines burning steadily and guiding the spacecraft along its precise trajectory. Telemetry screens and mission control showed all systems nominal. The ship reached its planned suborbital trajectory, every milestone checked off with precision. The engines shut down, leaving Ship 37 coasting in the profound silence of space. For a moment, everything was still, the spacecraft gliding above the blue planet below. The ascent phase, often the riskiest part of any mission, was a complete success. Relief and celebration swept through mission control. Starship had not only survived, but performed with a new level of precision, demonstrating capabilities that surpassed previous flights. The system's maturity and reliability were finally on display for the world to see, marking a major milestone for the program. The mission was off to a perfect start, setting the stage for the next era of exploration and innovation. As Ship 37 coasted in space, Booster 16 began its ambitious return. Its goal, simulate a pinpoint landing, culminating in a gentle splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. The booster relit its engines for a boost-back burn, then used grid fins to steer itself with remarkable accuracy. The descent was a controlled flight, not a fall. Near the ocean, a backup engine was ignited in place of a primary, testing redundancy for future crewed missions. The backup engine performed flawlessly, guiding the booster to a near hover just above the water. For a few seconds the 70-meter stage hovered, then gently splashed down upright before tipping over as planned. This precise hover and soft landing was a game-changer for reusability. SpaceX had proven it could control and recover the world's largest booster. The path to rapid, reliable reuse was now within reach. High above Earth, Ship 37 entered its coasting phase, ready for its next test cargo delivery. For the first time, Starship opened its payload bay and deployed eight satellite simulators using its PEZ dispenser mechanism. The door opened smoothly, a critical moment for future missions. One by one, the simulators slid out, floating into space, proving the deployment system worked. This test validated Starship's design for launching satellites, telescopes, and more. The cavernous bay is adaptable, ready for everything from lunar landers to Martian habitats. With this success, Starship became more than a test article. It was a true cargo ship. The ability to deliver large payloads is central to its mission. SpaceX had taken a giant leap toward making its boldest plans a reality. After payload deployment, Ship 37 faced another crucial test, relighting a Raptor engine in space. In-space engine relight is essential for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. At 37 minutes in, a dedicated header tank fed propellant to the engine, which roared to life for two seconds, a brief but vital demonstration. This proved Starship could maneuver and perform complex operations after reaching orbit. For NASA's Artemis missions, this capability is non-negotiable. The successful relight was a gateway to interplanetary travel. Starship was now more than a projectile, it was a true spacecraft, another critical milestone checked off. The final test, Ship 37's return to Earth. Re-entry over the Indian Ocean meant slamming into the atmosphere at 27,000 kilometers per h, wrapped in a plasma sheath hotter than the sun. Thousands of black heat shield tiles protected the ship as it belly flopped, using flaps to steer and slow its descent. This was a stress test for the thermal protection system and flight controls. The ship survived peak heating, the tiles and flaps holding strong. At low altitude it executed a dramatic flip, firing engines to swing vertical for a powered landing. The goal, a controlled splashdown, not a pad landing. 
The ship slowed to a gentle halt above the waves then touched down softly. It stood briefly before tipping over. Mission accomplished. For the first time, Starship completed its full mission profile from launch to splashdown. The era of fully reusable, operational Starship had arrived. Flight 10's success stunned the aerospace world, not just for what worked, but for how much worked in a single flight. SpaceX achieved a string of firsts, flawless ascent, backup engine landing, payload deployment, in-space relight, and a controlled splashdown. Anyone would be a milestone, together, they marked a paradigm shift. SpaceX's rapid hardware-rich approach had paid off, shattering traditional development timelines. Critics were silenced, skeptics became believers. Starship was no longer a dream, it was a functioning, capable system. For NASA, Artemis suddenly looked far more achievable. For scientists, new missions became possible. Flight 10 was more than a test. It was a glimpse of abundant access to space. The future had arrived. With Flight 10's triumph, the question is no longer if, but when. The Block 2 test campaign ends on a high note. Now, SpaceX will refine, scale, and push further. Next up, more flights, more data, and even bolder maneuvers, like bringing the booster back for a simulated tower catch. The goal? Make the extraordinary routine. Soon, Block 3 Starship will debut, incorporating every lesson learned for even greater performance and reliability. The ultimate aim, full, rapid reusability, launch, land, refuel, and fly again within hours. This is the key to affordable space access and a city on Mars. The path is clear, the team's energized, and the dream closer than ever. Starship is no longer just an experiment, it's the vehicle for humanity's return to the moon and our first steps to Mars. The age of interplanetary travel is no longer a dream. It's happening now.